Dr. Cortner. I'm so glad you're here. I was afraid you'd gotten away. There was a very important phone message that came to you. It sounded quite urgent. I've been looking everywhere. It was from a man called Kurt. He called from the country place, and he said something terrible had happened. He wanted you to come right out. Thank you. Well, you've always wanted to know what's kept me away from you so many weekends. Have you got the keys to your car? Why haven't you ever taken me up here before? Because the things I'm working on don't need an audience. That telephone call, what about it? All right, all right, hold off the questions. Why the mystery, Dale? What's it all about? We'll be there soon enough. You'll see. I've got to hurry.
I'm coming. Mac, what's happened to you? It's a terrible accident. I've got to save her. I've got to save her. What is it? What have you got there? Kirk, please. Sterilize the tubes and instruments quickly. But what are you going to do? Aren't you going to have a look in the closet first? No, I can't now. This is more important. But you don't understand. Look out, Mr. Surgeon. Do as I tell you before it's too late. I can't waste precious time arguing with you. are deceiving me. What you see is real. What's done is done and what I've done is right. It's the work of science. Success with transplants. Now I can do it for her. Transplant her to what? I brought her back. She'll live and I'll get her another body. I can make her complete again. Only a madman can believe that she could ever be like before. Don't argue with me. I love her too much to let her stay like this. I'll restore her. 